restoration of this classic truck was made possible by utilizing the Finish First line of abrasives and the four-piece system. These products are now available at your local AutoZone store. Hi, I'm Mark Stovall with Finish First Restoration. And I'm Mike Mangan. And we're back here today. If you guys remember, we started this project in March, and we have to have this truck ready for the Apex show, and we did hit our deadline, which is awesome. Now, we took this truck, we stripped it down, used as many um, parts as we could that were original, but we stripped it all the way down to the frame. What were some of the first things we had to get done on this, Michael? Well, uh, chrome is very time consuming, so we had to make sure we get that sent out first. Um, the gauges, that stuff can take a while. So anything that we can pinpoint that's going to be very time consuming, we had to deal with that as ASAP. Well, it looks like they did a heck of a job on that grill, man. That thing turned out awesome. Yeah, there was, there was holes in the bottom. They had to solder up. Uh, it took a lot of copper because there was some pitting in it. Um, but other than that, it, it turned out beautifully. Now, I remember when we first walked around the truck, this thing was di a disaster. It had like a C-channel for a bumper, and, and uh, now we've got a nice chrome bumper on there. Yeah, that bumper is a 49 through 53 Chevy. It was as close as we could find to the original. It actually looks like it was made for the truck. Um, now, when we first walked around this truck, too, these fenders were pretty bad shape. They just had a lot of surface rust. Um, you sent that stuff out to have it acid dipped. Some parts were sandblasted, some were acid dipped. Um, yeah, what the heavier the sheet metal, like the frame, that's, that's real thick. We had that sandblasted because sandblasting can warp sheet metal. Okay. So we wanted to make sure that we, we didn't get any more problems that we already had. So we, we acid dipped all the sheet metal stuff and then the frame, suspension parts, that stuff was sandblasted. Okay. Now, the motor, I know we fired this baby up when we first got it, but there were some issues with it. Yeah, it ran, and after we opened it up, I don't know how it did. The, the cylinder walls were so pitted, it had already been bored 40 over. There was a crack in one of the cylinder walls. Um, it, it really was a mess. It was not salvageable, so we had to take a trip to Minnesota and pick another motor up. Right, right. Now, with the wheels and tires, uh, we talked about doing something different, but we kept everything original, except for, I guess you had a hard time finding some of the parts and the centers, you had to actually make those? Yeah, we machined those on a three axis CNC that was started out as just a chunk of uh, billet aluminum. And as you can tell, they, they turned out almost exactly like the original. They look awesome. Now also, some of the parts were very hard to find and you came across the guy in Texas named Tom Warren. I guess he had a lot of the parts for the truck. Yeah, Tom's in the business of doing restorations on diamond tees. He makes a lot of parts for them and he was a big help. Yeah. Now, when we first looked at these doors, this did not fit in here at all. So, what were some of the challenges you had with that? Yeah, it took weeks to get these doors to fit properly. Um, then the whole bottom of this door, probably about six inches of the bottom, uh, inside and out had to be cut off and completely uh, redone. It was just Swiss cheese. Yeah, well, it turned out real nice. And when we first got the truck, the interior, it was a total mess. Um, tell us a little bit about what you did to this. Yeah, the, first we got all the rats out of it first because it was uh, a big rat's nest. And um, the seats, the springs were just too far gone. So actually had to use just a high density foam uh, to replicate that. The seat back is original, but the base is all foam. Um, now, Bob Kussman, I guess he's the one that did all the interior work. Um, I like what he did with these uh, panels with the Diamond T logo. That turned out real nice. Yeah, the interior in this was really basic from the start. We wanted to spice it up a little bit, because even though this is just a farm truck, it's really classy looking. So. We added the Italian leather and kick panels, went through probably 30 hours of labor just restoring that steering wheel. Uh, we was able to take the original heater and restore it and it's all functional. Well, it turned out awesome. Now, when we first got this truck too, this was a flatbed originally and had just a little short running board. It looks like you customized all this as well. Yeah, the, the running boards are custom made. Uh, we put the addition of the wood on there. It was a great asset on the side of this truck. It really helped the 
the, the aesthetics of it. Uh, it helped tie in the wood inside the bed as well. Um, obviously, the, the, the bed is completely scratch built, running boards and rear fenders. Now, the rear fenders, um, how did you do that? Because this looks, they match up to the front perfectly. Well, the rear fenders, the outer half of them is actually original. Uh, we took original fenders, cut them in half, and added to them to get the, the rear the fenders to fit right. That looks good, man. Um, now, as far as the tailgate, I really like what you did with that. Um, tell me a little bit more about that. Well, originally, um, it was just going to be too plain on the back. We, we needed to kind of bring the aesthetics up a little bit. and. I think by insetting the diamond T insignia definitely added to that. So the T was completely hammer formed and then the diamond part we did on a bead roller. It turned out awesome. Well, we've got the truck ready for the show, but uh, I'm ready to take it for a spin. I'm ready too. All right, let's go. Thanks for watching guys. We had a great time doing the videos. Hope you guys learned some stuff. We've got this baby looking sharp. We're ready to roll to Vegas and here we go. All right. <laughs> If you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or follow our blog on GoFinishFirst.com.